For years, our press, particularly the Daily Express and the Daily Mail, were against migrants and against the EU. They had spread a lot of stories, front page stories, that promoted xenophobia in this country and a hatred of migrants and a hatred of the European Union. So here we are, migrants cost Britain 17 billion a year. Actually, it's the other way around. EU migrants contribute hugely to our treasury. Daily Mail, migrants spark housing crisis. It isn't true. Yes, we have a lack of affordable housing in Great Britain, but that isn't the fault of migrants. If the train is full, do you blame the passengers or the train company for not putting on enough trains? We should not blame and scapegoat migrants, and it's not the fault of the EU if we don't have enough affordable houses. And another one, quit the EU to save our NHS. Absolutely ridiculous. Without EU migrants and other migrants working for our NHS, we wouldn't have one. And then, of course, there was the outrageous Sun front page, Queen backs Brexit. And Buckingham Palace complained to the press regulator and won. This was an untrue headline. And all these uh, newspaper front pages were wrong. If it was just the four of them, it wouldn't be so bad. But we have a daily deluge by our press, the majority of our press, unfortunately, promoting hatred of migrants and misinformation about the EU.